O Lord, reveal amongst us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Amen. We read together Psalm 71. In you, O Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, rescue me and deliver me. Turn your ear to me and save me. Be my rock of refuge, to which I can always go. Give the command to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of those who are cruel and evil. For you have been my hope, Sovereign Lord, my confidence since my youth. From my birth I have relied on you. You brought me forth from my mother's womb. I will ever praise you. I have become a sign to many. You are my strong refuge. My lips are filled with your praise, declaring your splendour all day long. Do not cast me away when I am old. Do not forsake me when my strength is gone, for my enemies speak against me. Those who wait to kill me conspire together. They say, God has forsaken him. Pursue him and seize him, for no one will rescue him. Do not be far from me, my God. Come quickly, God, to help me. May my accusers perish in shame. May those who want to harm me be covered with scorn and disgrace. As for me, I will always have hope. I will praise you more and more. My lips will tell of your righteous deeds, of your saving acts all day long, though I know not how to relate them all. I will come and proclaim your mighty acts, Sovereign Lord. I will proclaim your righteous deeds, yours alone. Since my youth, God, you have taught me, and to this day I declare your marvellous deeds. Even when I am old and grey, do not forsake me, my God, till I declare your power to the next generation, your mighty acts to those who are to come. Your righteousness, God, reaches to the heavens. You have done great things. Who is like you, God, though you have made me see troubles, many and bitter, you will restore my life again. From the depths of the earth you will bring me up again. You will increase my honour and comfort me once more. I will praise you with the harp for your faithfulness, my God. I will sing praise to you with the lyre, Holy One of Israel. My lips will shout for joy when I sing praise to you, I whom you have delivered. My tongue will tell of your righteous acts all day long, for those who wanted to harm me have been put to shame and confusion. A reminder again of the duty in old age. When we are, uh, are old and grey, we pray the Lord will not forsake us because we still have a task to do, to declare God's glory to the next generation. May the Lord find us faithful in this task. Isaiah 52 verses 1 to 12 Awake, awake, Zion, clothe yourself with strength. Put on your garments of splendour, Jerusalem, the holy city. The uncircumcised and defiled will not enter you again. Shake off your dust, sit up, sit enthroned, Jerusalem. Free yourself from the chains on your neck, daughter of Zion, now a captive. For this is what the Lord says. You were sold for nothing, and without money you will be redeemed. For this is what the Sovereign Lord says. At first my people went down to Egypt to live. Lately Assyria has oppressed them. And now, what do I have here, declares the Lord? For my people have been taken away for, for nothing. Those who rule them mock them, declares the Lord. All day long my name is constantly blasphemed. Therefore my people will know my name. Therefore in that day they will know that it is I who foretold it. Yes, it is I. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation, who say to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, you watchmen, lift up your voices together, shout for joy. When the Lord returns to Zion, they will see it with their own eyes. Burst into songs of joy together, you ruins of Jerusalem. For the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord will lay bare his holy arm in the sight of all nations, and all the ends of the earth will see the salvation of our God. 
Depart, depart, go out from there, touch no unclean thing. Come out of it and be pure. You carry the articles of the Lord's house. But you will not leave in haste or go in flight, for the Lord will go before you. The God of Israel will be your rear guard. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who proclaim good news. Let's today be good news, tell us. Let's go wherever we go and be good news to those we meet. Now we read the book of Jude. Jude, a servant of Jesus Christ and a brother of James, to those who have been called, who are loved in God the Father and kept for Jesus Christ, mercy, peace and love be yours in abundance. Dear friends, although I was very eager to write to you about the salvation we share, I felt compelled to write and urge you to contend for the faith that was once for all entrusted to God's holy people. For certain individuals whose condemnation was written about long ago have secretly slipped in among you. They are ungodly people who pervert the grace of our God into a license for immorality and deny Jesus Christ, our only sovereign and Lord. Though you already know all this, I want to remind you that the Lord at one time delivered his people out of Egypt, but later destroyed those who did not believe and the angels who did not keep their positions of authority but abandoned their proper dwelling, he has kept in darkness bound with everlasting chains for judgment on the great day. In a similar way, Sodom and Gomorrah and the surrounding towns gave themselves up to sexual immorality and perversion. They serve as an example of those who suffer the punishment of eternal fire. In the same way, on the strength of their dreams, these ungodly people pollute their own bodies reject authority and heap abuse on celestial beings. But even the archangel gave Michael, when he was disputing about the body of Moses, did not himself dare to condemn him for slander, but said, The Lord rebuke you. Yet these people slander whatever they do not understand, and the very things they do understand by instinct, as irrational animals do, will destroy them. Woe to them, they have taken the way of Cain. They have rushed for profit into Balaam's error. They have, dis they, they have been destroyed in Korah's rebellion. These people are blemishes at your love feast, eating with you without the slightest qualm, shepherds who feed only themselves. They are clouds without rain, blown along by wind, autumn leaves without fruit and uprooted, twice dead. They are wild waves of the sea, foaming up their shame, wandering stars for whom blank, blackest darkness has been reserved forever. Enoch, the seventh from Adam, prophesied about them. See, the Lord is coming with thousands upon thousands of his holy ones to judge everyone and to convict all of them of, the, uh, of all the ungodly acts they have committed in their ungodliness and of all the defiant words ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These people are grumblers and fault finders they follow their own evil desires, they boast about themselves and flatter others for their own advantage. But dear friends, remember what the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ foretold. They said to you, in the last time there will be scuffers who follow their own ungodly desires. These are the people who divide you, who follow mere natural instincts and do not have the spirits. But you, Dear friends, by building yourself up in your most holy faith and praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in God's love as you wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to bring you to eternal life. Be merciful to those who doubt. Save others by snatching them from the fire. To others show mercy, mixed with fear, hating even the clothing stained by corrupted flesh. To him who is able to keep you from stumbling, and to present you before his glorious presence without fault and with great joy. To the only God our Saviour be glory, majesty, power and authority, through Jesus Christ our Lord, before all ages, now and forevermore. One of the signs of those who uh, rejected the Lord was that they were part of the church, but they were grumblers, moaners and fault finders. Let's not be amongst them. Let's enter into the worship of the Lord. The outside trappings may not be perfect, but our hearts will be right 
to worship you. Let's not be grumblers, moaners and fault finders. Lord, we lift up to you this day and the tasks to which you have called us. Lord, we pray for our times with our families, that Lord, these will be rich times of great blessing. And Lord, we lift up to you those who have nowhere to sleep tonight. Lord, we pray for the work of Noah. We thank you that we are able to partner with them in just a small way to help. But Lord, we pray for our society, that Lord, you will help and guide those uh, in government uh, to be able to do more to support those who, for whatever reason, have uh, found themselves with nowhere to sleep. Lord, we pray for wisdom in our interaction with them, that Lord, we can be helpful in Jesus' name. Blessed are you, sovereign God of all, to you be praise and glory forever. In your tender mercy, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. <laughs>